Hey y'all, this is Mark from Cedar Creek Bottoms Farmstead with another fireside chat video. Today, Tuesday, October the 3rd, it's 610. You notice the sun's done went down behind the trees, so dark is approaching quick. Back out here at the corn patch, and today this is going to be a little different. This is the day I've been telling y'all for a little over a month, or around a month, that we're gonna drop these pictures with this video. Not gonna drop them all. I'm gonna drop the clearest ones, the ones that you can make out pretty good. So let me give you a little history about the corn patch. I know every one of you has been watching videos and. You've heard some of the other people talking about corn patch and you'll see why something was very interesting showed up in the corn patch. Really don't know what to tell you. I really don't. It's just very, very interesting that this took place. Now y'all can tell it's really changed out here since the first video, August 16th. I've harvested all the watermelons. I've knocked down part of the corn patch. I've been pulling corn, corn stalks. I even had somebody over here a while ago getting them some corn stalks. Part of the corn patch is gone on the end where the morning glory's pretty much wiped it out. So anyway, I'm gonna show you a few things here before I get into this video real deep. And by the way, I hope everybody had a good week. Missed a lot of y'all from Friday night when we went down and did an outing. Kind of a paranormal slash Bigfoot outing. Uh, paranormal wise, it was pretty quiet. Uh, booger wise, we did hear a couple of howls way off in the distance and some possible tree knocks. And also did get a whiff of something. But nothing real definite this spot has produced some stuff so we'll be checking it back out i think we just had too many people and just too much racket going on too many people I'm not fussing about it by no means i'm just saying um learned a long time ago um too many people don't much happen all right uh I'm kind of standing kind of right in the area of where a lot of these pictures come from that you're going to see. And you can tell there's daylight back in there. That's how I know where to focus on. Yeah, sorry, I, I, rabbit got me the other day. So starting with August 16th, I came out here to just do my video. Didn't have time to go Creepy Mountain. Didn't have nobody to put on. And I just done my video talking, running my mouth like I usually do. Didn't think nothing about anything. Um, went ahead and, you know, Rebecca uh, uploaded that video and it come out. And, and um, a subscriber. Um. Miss Joyce, I'll just leave it like that, uh, contacted me on Sunday morning. Now, I made that video on Wednesday, released it on Thursday, I think it was. I had come out here that Saturday before she contacted me um, on Sunday morning through Messenger. Um I had been out here pulling watermelons, even walked in that corn patch. I did notice some things when I was in there, because there were some watermelons up inside there, a couple of rows in. I did notice something that had been in the corn patch, but of course in my brain, thinking deer, wasn't really thinking about anything else. Well, she contacts me by messenger and mentions to me that she's seen some stuff in my video from the 16th and she sent me some pictures on messenger 
um, pretty much shocked. Uh, so I went and slowed the video down and, and I, I'll, I'll speak to this a little bit. She felt something from the video. I have felt stuff from people's videos too before. So, and I know some of y'all have, um, just like when you go in a place and you feel something. I did understand what she was talking about. So she started watching the video, slowed it down, and she started catching stuff. Um, she sent me a uh, good many pictures. I'm going to only put the clearest ones on. Some of the other ones is hard to tell. Not saying ain't nothing there, not saying it is. Uh, I do, in my belief, yes, something is there, but it's just hard to make it out what it is. So, um, she sent the pictures. I started looking at them. Uh, I let a couple of other people um, see the pictures, uh, other Bigfoot researchers. Uh, to get their opinion too because it don't hurt to get anybody else's opinion what what you think you're looking at Because y'all have to remember one thing. I've always told y'all. I have never seen a Bigfoot in the face I've never got a good look at one's face So please remember that I've seen their bodies their outlines. I had one standing You know 60 50 60 70 foot from him, you know in about this time of day in a, you know, kind of an area like that where it's getting dark I could see his body outline. When I throw the scope on him, I still could not throw, see what his face looked like. He was full of hair. The other ones I've seen have been on the Clinton Club at nighttime. More silhouette. Um, you see their body outline, smell them, see their eyes, uh, hear them walking, all that. But not a direct looking at their face to see what their face looks like. So I do not really know what one looks like in the face. All I can go by is what other people have told me what they look like behind the face. Um, the other daytime sightings have been glimpses. Movement real quick. Uh, darting real quick. Uh, but, you know, but in a humanoid type figure. So not a deer or something of that nature. So anyway, uh, I spoke to Miss jo Joyce. We discussed kind of what went on. Uh, I got her feel from it. And so on my next video, I came back to the corn patch, which was on August 23rd. Done another video, and I kind of mentioned in my video to pay attention to the corn patch. One reason I done that was because I wanted to take another film of the corn patch to see if things were in different places. Lo and behold, I had another person, Miss Pat, catch something. She sent it to me. Um, two pictures of something. Also in that video, another person caught something. I'm probably not going to put that up because it's just so fast that it's just so fast you can't do nothing with it it is a when i walked around the other side of the corn patch something entered into the woods over where i call the tall boy trail so i've showed y'all the tall boy trail before on video uh when misty and sherry and donna mr jim came down um which was week before last uh, we come out here and walked around. But before we did, Misty and Flat Rock got a glimpse of something right down here that was some of the corn that had the real bad uh, morning glories in it. They just seen a dark figure. We don't, we're not saying it was anything. We just noticed there was a dark figure, then the dark figure was gone. Both of them seen movement. Um, we did come walking a few minutes later. 
went around the perimeter here of the field. Just, uh, we did hear something back here in the swamp. Really what it was, we do not know. Could have been a tree knock. Don't know. Uh, just a few days ago, I had another person send me some videos or pictures from my video of something else in the corn patch on this end on almost on the other corner. It's hard to tell. And that's what they said. It may be something, may not be something. There is a black looking figure in the corn. It's hard to say. It's just really, I mean, I really just don't know. Just like this person, they said, and I didn't know if they'd want me to use their name or not, so I didn't ask them. Um, uh, they probably wouldn't care because they're not claiming nothing's there. Nobody is claiming anything on this. Uh, I'm just telling you, there is something in the corn patch on these dates, which will be August 16th, August 23rd, September 7th. I've done more videos of the corn patch that I have not released that I've went back and tried to watch and I didn't catch nothing. Don't mean anything. Uh, of course, in, since then, some stuff's happened out here. I've started pulling corn, cutting stalks, uh, you know, bush hogged, uh, toward, you know, disked this up. Uh, so I've done several things. And since that time, so majority of the pictures that you're going to see that we're going to put up are the clearest are coming from this area right through here and how i know that is by the tree line you look over here it's pretty thick you look over here it's pretty thick there's a lot of daylight in there and this is where the pictures are um that's what we now that's where some of them are there's some of them are i can't really tell where they're coming from uh, i've tried to come out here and restep my steps one reason I come back is, uh, as anybody should, is you go back and try to debunk all you can to make sure it wasn't a clump of weeds, it wasn't a shadow. Not, not, not saying these other people did not see nothing. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I go back and debunk it. This ain't the first time I've been contacted about stuff in my videos. Um, the Blue Man video back um, that I done back in first part of August, last part of July, whenever it was, uh, I had a person say they thought they got a glimpse of something in that film. I went and looked. I did find something. I haven't been able to go back and film that just to make sure what it is. Um, that's what you should always do if possible. If you get a picture, try to go back within the next few days at the same time of day if you can and get them pictures again just to see not saying i'm doubting what anybody's found i am not i know these are truthful people and they've seen something all right so one reason i'm being a little kind of peculiar about this is because we've got some uh-ohs going on right now about folks calling folks hoaxes but i'm not going to get into that and I just, it ain't just one group, it's several groups in the U.S. right now. And I just almost feel there's a spirit going on to disrupt everything. But that's my opinion. Anyway, going back to this. During that time period, I have heard crazy owl sounds. I'm surprised I ain't hearing nothing right now. I've heard tree knocks come from in here and back in here. I've heard a hoot, owl, a hoot owl that don't sound right usually in this area and one from this area and then one from the other end of my property. Sister has been getting tore up at night time a little bit again. Um, stepdaughter, Ella, has noticed some stuff going on around her house over there. Uh, she thinks she had a peeping Tom the other day. Or other night, uh, they something jingled the door knob, uh, kind of during this time period. 
had the dogs inside the house upset. Really don't know. Now, it could be human. I'm not going to sit here and say it was a booger because I don't know. I know in the past, me and Rebecca has found tracks. Y'all have probably seen some of them. We found something that played in the lime pile. We found what we thought were small kids tracks in this pond on this side in the wintertime. Barefooted. I think it was in January. Uh, I don't know who would have been over here because we didn't have nobody over here fishing during that time with a kid. They would have been walking around barefooted and with it cold weather. Uh, I've told you about motion lights getting turned off. I've changed them out to a different brand with a different type of setting that, that quit. I've told you about the air conditioner where it looks like a big thumb print in the air conditioner at our bedroom. Like something was standing there and the ground was padded up under that area. Of course, the dog was the one letting us know something was there. Uh, neighbors. Y'all have heard me talk about the neighbor who watched something. Pretty sure a booger come up into her yard at night on all fours she called to it because she thought it was a big old dog then it stands up and walks off two-legged back across the road y'all probably heard that little interview she did not want to be on tape but she did talk behind the camera and then of course we've heard of the other neighbor through that last year was finding tracks, hearing things, seeing things, and a big old huge trail coming up behind our house. So I've also heard some other crazy things here at night time. Uh, Joe and Pat were here Thursday with me. They had left Greg's, came, brought their camper, stayed the night here. Uh, we didn't go up on Creepy Mountain. We just stayed here at the house. I built a fire. Uh, we did notice on in the night some weird things going on. Not 100% sure if we were getting something thrown at us a few times. All right, sorry about y'all. The SD card got full, so it stopped on me all of a sudden. I hope this don't throw Rebecca a curve. I have to tell her what happened. So I went in and raised some stuff from the past that's already been published, so, you know, it's already a record of it, so. Um, anyway, where I, what I was saying, Lord, I about forgot what I was saying, was that day I didn't notice anything, didn't notice nothing, nothing. The second go around, I did not notice anything. Sister did not act up that day, but yet pictures came from that video. All right, so let's go into a couple other things real quick. I had a person ask me, do I th think I was getting hoaxed? No, I do not, because nobody never knows when I'm going to do my video. I might do my video on Saturday. I might do it on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I might even do it the Friday before. So for somebody to be out here in my patch waiting on me every day to come out here and do a video just don't seem very logical. I mean, really. I don't know who's got time to do this. Um, just like when me and Keith were researching a lot on Creepy Mountain, we didn't, we, we didn't let people know when we was going. We kept that quiet. It, a lot of it was spur of the moment because we were trying to eliminate stuff like that. Uh, do I think I have a hoaxer in the community going over to these other neighbor's house and this other neighbor's house? No. No. There's too many other signs with it. The tracks, the wood knocks late at night, the hoot owls that don't sound right. There's a bunch of things to consider. So, in my mind, no, I do not think this was a hoax. All right, footprints. I walked in and out of the corn patch 
walk a lot of the roads. Be honest, we couldn't hardly find a track. I did find some impressions back when it kind of rained a little bit and the ground was softer. I found some impressions in there, but not really anything. What I did find was some big open areas like something went through there a bunch. Um, tracks? No, not really. Nothing I can say different. So, I know a lot of other people's got pictures. Most people don't believe it. That's fine. Uh, I'm not sitting here to have a debate with somebody over, um, you know, if this is whatever it is. This is ain't what this is about. This is about that other people found this in my videos. I was not looking for it. Of course, now I will be paying attention to my videos a lot more. In other words, when I'm in places, I will be going back, watching them in slow motion. Especially if I hear or feel something. This, yes, this throwed me a curve. Was not expecting this. Um, I had walked within 20 foot of where one of these pictures come from. Kind of like about where I'm at right now when I was videoing. So, um, I mean, you can tell there's a lot of difference in the corn now. A lot of difference. Um, most, a lot of the morning glory is dying. A lot of the stalks are down. Uh, that first video, there was still green stalks in it. The corn patch was a lot thicker and bigger. So, uh, going back to what me and a few other people have talked about, why would something be in the corn patch? Of course, food. Uh, that's one thing we talked about. I had a watermelon patch here, pumpkin patch, and a corn patch right next to a set of woods that I know there's a tall boy trail. Uh, deer coming into the field, birds, rabbits, squirrels. Um, I don't know if y'all have noticed on some of the videos, there's been squirrels in the video, there's been rabbits where I jumped them. So, uh, in fact, I come out here to film one day and there was two deer out here, but I didn't have the camera running quick enough to catch them. So, possibility. Uh, the other possibility, watching me. Yep, could have been watching me. I don't know. So a lot of stuff, I don't know. I'm going to let you be the judge yourself. You look at the pictures that we're going to put in there. We're not putting them all, like I said at the beginning. Um, we're just going to put the clearest ones. If someone would like to see the others, you're welcome to message me. I'll, I'll send them to you. You be judge of yourself. I'm not claiming anything right here. All I'm trying to tell you uh, is strange. I have some other theories, but I'm not going to talk about them right now because that's something I want to pay attention to more. Um, I will be paying attention to this come this time next year, starting in August. Uh, if good Lord willing, I will be planting watermelons, pumpkins, corn again, probably some sorghum next year. I will be paying more attention. I will probably do some videos from the corn patch again, just like I did this year, to see if anything is in there. To establish a pattern. Are they coming in here this time of year because of food? Um, water. It's been pretty dry. A lot of your branches are not running, so a lot of your ponds is what's got water in this area. A lot of the creeks have about quit running. Because they've been coming to this corn patch right here waiting on dark to come to this pond right here. And a lot of open ground. I don't know. they got a pond yonder, and there's a pond in yonder, and there's one right through the woods. So I don't know. To me, if I was going to get water, I'd be getting water out of this and back over here. Because half of it's in the woods. But... You know, maybe they were coming in here to eat. I don't know if they eat hard corn or not. Um, I don't know why they couldn't. If they can crack uh, uh, bones, why couldn't they eat corn? 
Uh, somebody told me I need to go around, look around for a rock, corn, look, need to look for corn cobs out in the woods. I uh, probably do. I mean, of course, coons and other animals will drag their corn cobs in the woods too. But if I found a pile, it might be a whole different ball game. And I will go look eventually and see. There's still corn here. I'm slowly gathering it. Uh, I'm still going to do some videos. I may not release them, but I'm going to come out here and at least walk it and go back and view it. So I want to thank everybody that sent me the pictures. Everybody's paid attention to it. All the uh, nice comments. I appreciate everybody um, being real good with me and Rebecca. Uh, right now we have a good channel. We have some very good people on. Um, very kind, loving people. They like to cut up, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, <clears throat> so I really appreciate that. Uh, me and her look real forward to lives each Friday night. We really hated to miss this past Friday night because, you know, y'all have grown to be family. And we look, we enjoy the fellowship. Because uh, to me, this is what, one of the biggest things is coming out of this community is the fellowship with other people. And just like Spencer said on Sunday's show, it's like, we come together as a family for a reason. So, um, yeah. Sister. Kill D's have showed back up and she's got to chase them on one, one up toward the road. She'll lose her brain and sister. And run right out the road. And I have people come down this road running 50 mile an hour on a 25 mile an hour road. So, anyway. All right, y'all, it's getting dark. And like I said, she'll insert the pictures. I think they're going to be all at the end. Y'all look at it with an open mind and see what you see. Uh, comment on it. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think it is you're looking at. And be honest. Be honest. That's what I want is honesty. Uh, honesty will get you where you need to go. Truth. Truth. When truth is there, it comes out. Uh, the, a lot of folks don't like truth sorry I mean I don't know what to tell you but I know truth hurts and but y'all be honest with me what you think you're looking at <clears throat> um, I appreciate everybody that's looked at them and you know gave me their opinion um, everybody that's looked at them said, yeah, we see something. There's no doubt. And that's what I just want to know. Uh, not doubting anybody that found these uh, stuff in my videos. Not doubting them one bit. So nobody don't think that. I'm not doubting. But I do try to debunk. I think all of us need to debunk stuff if possible. So, time to tell. I'll be watching here more closely. All right, uh, join us this Friday night on our live at 7. Uh, we won't have a guest. Our guest, I did talk to a friend of mine who thought, uh, said he would probably come on. So it will probably be on toward the end of October. Um, me and Rebecca may be gone the next weekend. That will be the 14th, 15th. Uh, Mr. Dale's having his thing on Sunday. Uh, well, I thought he had canceled it completely, but then I found out he was doing it on Sunday. So me and Rebecca will probably ride over Sunday uh, over to Georgia. Uh, it's about two hours, not a bad drive. Sit down with him for a little while. Uh, of course, we're going to go and meet her thir next Thursday night, going to see Pam Tillis in Oxford. That'll be a cool thing. I've always liked Pam Tillis. Uh, had a leaves this Friday and Saturday open. Um, 
I had thought about going to Tennessee. Uh, if I don't, I may uh, go up on Creepy Mountain Friday night. We may even do a live from Creepy Mountain Friday night. We'll just, we'll, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll announce in next week's video uh, what our plans are. Uh, I would like to go up there and do a live. Now, of course, doing a live at 7 o'clock up there, it's going to be dark. Um, but may do it. Um, I might decide to put some low light out for y'all and see if anything takes place. Um, anyway. But I hope y'all enjoy this video. Uh, look at it with an open mind. Uh, if you don't believe it, you ain't got to say nothing uh, derogatory. Just say, hey, I don't see nothing. I'm gone. If you do see something, let me know what you think you're looking at. Um, she would try to date the pictures that they come from. Which ones it was took on the 16th. Which ones was on the 23rd. Uh, the ones from the 7th, I'm probably not going to put up. Because even the guy who sent them to me said, I don't know if it is or something or not. So I'm going to just leave them off. Um, the other one where the guy caught something going into the woods. I mean, it's so fast. Even with it slowed down as slow as you can slow it down, you just can't tell what it is. And um, So I'm trying to keep this video not real long. Um, another thing, I'm not going to go through each picture of what they are. I'm just let y'all look at it yourself. Uh, and go from there. That's the only thing I know to do because I don't even know what to say about them myself. All I know is something there. Um, anyway, y'all know everybody we support. Spencer and Missy over at Woodwalkers. Um, Spencer and her family with Sass. Uh, the Beast Crew, Mark and Larry. Uh, Chris Reinhart with Discover Sasquatch. Um, Squatch and Holler, Mr. Roger. He's starting to get started. Uh, Red Creek Mafia. Uh, he's back. I think he had somebody on today. Uh, let's see. Mr. Barton Dunley. I still keep up with him. Um, and I still watch some of the other channels like Hellbent Holler. I don't get to watch them like I used to. Because the night they come on is usually a night I'm busy. So... Uh, still do watch some of their stuff and some of the others um, anyway um, so y'all remember everybody I just mentioned of course in the homesteading communities deep south y'all need to go check Mr. Danny out on Tuesday morning's porch talk you really need to even if you ain't in the homesteading you need to go listen to his front porch talks that come out every Tuesday you need to go listen to them the man does his research. The man knows what he's talking about. Y'all need to go, at least if nothing else, if you don't care nothing about the homesteading part, go listen to his front porch talks. Porch talk. Every Tuesday morning, he puts one out. You go listen to what he's got to say. He does his research, and he knows kind of what he's talking about. He backs stuff up. I... Tell y'all, go do your research on everything. I ain't just talking about cryptids and all this. I'm talking about in the food supply, water supply, all this. We'll bring, we'll talk more about that live Friday night, but what I'm getting at is I start preparing yourselves, people. There's deception coming. There's deception coming. Sooner or later, I'm going to release a video about these aliens. Um, we're going to talk about that. Anyway, um, not much else to say. Love one another, like Christ commanded. Get along. Don't be judgmental. Be kind, because it don't cost nothing. And if you're going to make accusations against somebody, please have your ducks in a row and have all your evidence and show it, don't talk about it. 
Uh, anyway, and I'm trying not to get in the middle of this, but because um, the truth will come out regardless. The truth will come out. God always has a way of revealing the truth. Sometimes he does it subtle. Sometimes he does it dramatically. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Uh, but just love one another. That's the second commandment that Christ gave. Of course, we know what the first one was. Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And of course, we have the Ten Commandments. If we try to live by those best we can, you'll do pretty good on obedience so it's hard i know it is it's tough yes i know because we're in flesh yep it's tough uh, we want to lash out at people we get mad fight it get in that word get into that word start reading it try to read it Find you somebody to help you understand what you're reading if you can't understand it. Pray the Lord to understand what he's trying to tell you. So he's telling you some stuff in there. All right, y'all. I'll say a little quick prayer. Get off here and quit rambling. I know y'all didn't come here for no preaching. You go to church on Sunday for that. But anyway, I'm going to use my platform as I can to... Get that message out there. Remember these things exist. With other things. Remember that. Have my opinion what they are. Some of you have heard it. May not be 100% correct. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Let's say a little short pair and we'll get off here and get on with it. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've done for us each and every day. Thank you for your love, your power, your peace, your patience, your judgment, your will, Lord. Thank you for your son. Thank you for letting him come to this earth and be our sacrifice to where we get inheritance back into heaven. Lord, if anybody is sick, or whatever their problems may be, just listen to this channel or people that's brought up people that we all know, not just in the Bigfoot community, but families and friends or church or work or wherever it may be, Lord, you be with them and your will be done. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. Love y'all a lot. And just check it out. Let me know what you think. Not claiming anything. I'll just look at it and see what you think. We'll go from there, okay? Hopefully to see y'all Friday night at 7 o'clock. And by the way, uh, Thursday night at 7 o'clock, I'll be over on Squatch and Holler with Roger. So y'all come support Roger and support me. Give me some support. Know what I mean by that? It's give me some support to talk. <laughs> so, anyway. And the old sun's dropped down and it's getting dark quick. So, all right. Love y'all. We'll see you Friday night. Nothing don't happen. And if any of y'all come over to Roger's channel Thursday night, I'll see you there. Y'all have a good one. Love you. Bye-bye.